Okay, so here we are at Tinkercad Activity 1. Uh, you probably just watched this little Tinkercad intro video that sort of talks about it. And um, look, to log in the first time, there's a shortcut here to the Tinkercad site, but you could also just pop open a new tab and uh, type in T-I-N-K-E-R, and it'll probably guess that you're looking for Tinkercad. And click on there. All right, so they changed the Tinkercad website a little bit. It just looks different. All the stuff still works the same, but I still see the little Tinkercad logo over here on the top left. Uh, I'm going to click on log in. We're going to use personal accounts. Not, uh, I'm not going to make a, a class for every student. All right, we're just going to use personal accounts. Sign in with Google. You should already have your Gmail open over here. Right, so sign in with Google. It might ask you a question or verify that that's the account you want to use. All right. And uh, no, 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 let's see. Uh, I don't think we need to create a new class or anything like that. I think that's just me being a teacher. We're going to tinker over here under Tinker 3D Design. Start tinkering. Okay. And again, if yours looks slightly different than this, don't freak out. Just click on buttons until you get somewhere where you see, all right, that didn't work for me. Let's check this out. Uh, click over here, 3D, new, there we go, new 3D design. I think this is what you're really looking for is this plus button with the word new on it, new 3D design, because you can do circuits or code blocks too, but we want, yes, this is what we want, and this is where all the tutorials will start, is this thing called the work plane, and uh, yeah, and there'll be a, a kind of a nonsense word up here for the title that you will change later, but this is what you're really looking for is to get here, so uh, try to follow these directions, and if you're really stuck, ask your teacher for help, but sometimes you just got to be stubborn and keep clicking on things until it does what you want it to. Uh, welcome to technology. And this is what Tinkercad's going to look like for most of you, okay? You're going to have a work plane here. This is where all the work actually happens. Uh, one of the first things you'll notice here is that you have some very strange name, Fantastic Robo Biggery, which makes no sense at all. They're just nonsense words usually, or a bunch of words put together in such a way that it means nothing. Uh, right away, you want to rename this. So I'm going to say Mr. Pat's uh, demo. And yours might be, you know, Susie's activity four or uh, Joey's uh, round box, cylinder box, something like that. But either way, you want to name it right away. Okay. And so I've got this work plane here. Um, I can use this guy here to kind of move it around and get to see all over the place, which right now is kind of interesting. But once you put an object on there, it will always uh, it will always uh, make it a little bit easier to understand. Uh, the home position always takes me right back to there, which is called an orthographic view. Uh, we can zoom in on things. We can zoom out on things. I can also do that with the roller on my mouse, which is pretty handy. Uh, I can use my right click button. If I hold my right mouse button down, and move it around, it allows me to rotate all around and do all sorts of things. So that's my work plane. Uh, over here on the right, you should have basic shapes. I'm just going to grab a box and drag him over here. Okay. <clears throat> and uh, I can change things about the box here, all sorts of different characteristics. Um, but for the most part, I'm really not that worried about it. Uh, here, once again, I'm going to zoom in using my roller and zoom out using my roller. I'm going to zoom in using these arrows. I'm going to zoom out using that. I'm going to click on this home position, and it brings me right back to there where I'm kind of looking at it from ahead. Uh, I'm going to grab the dice up here in the corner and roll it around so I can look at the bottom. I can look at the top, left. And sometimes as you do this, you do get confused and discombobulated. So being able to click home and have it take you right back to that original position is pretty sweet. Okay, I'll zoom in a little more. There's my cube. Uh, one thing we want to do, if you uh, click on these guys here, on these little what we call handles in the corner, these little squares, which I'm sure you're familiar with from other uh, apps you've used. When you click on them, uh, you'll see the little dimension boxes here. Now, this says 20, which tells me I'm a little suspicious there. I'm going to click over here where it says Edit Grid. Aha, it's in millimeters. Now, I live in the United States, so I'm going to switch it to inches and click Update Grid. And now when I click on those, it's going to give me a fraction of an inch. Although, if I type in 0.75 inches, it automatically made it a fraction, three quarters of an inch. And maybe I'll make this 
0.5 inches, and that makes it a half inch. And I'll make this, we'll say one. Oops, gotta make sure it's highlighted there. One, so now I have a one inch high by three quarter inch by one half inch, uh, kind of a rectangle cube box sort of a thing going on there. All right, uh, another thing you might know is when you click on things, oops, let me move this a little bit. When you click on things, see this little black arrow that's kind of almost like a little party hat, like a birthday hat on the thing? That guy allows you to lift it up or down, straight, wherever it's living. So that's kind of a neat tool to know about. Right now, part of that's below my work plane. There it would be if I'm looking straight at it, you can kind of get that sense of there. And I can pull this guy up and you can kind of see there's dimensions down there. It's telling me that I'm an eighth of an inch below the surface of that work plane. Drag it up until it's at zero, which means it's totally flat there. So just a bunch of different things that are going to allow you to uh, maybe move things around a little bit easier. Uh, label things. As I said, you want to make sure that you name things. You want to make sure your grid is in inches. Okay. Uh, you want to click on your thing and make sure that you're able to uh, change some dimensions here. Just practice clicking on some of those and changing the numbers there. They can stay in decimals, but when it's an easy decimal to move to a fraction, they'll move it to fractional. Uh, practice moving it up and down. Play around with your dice here. And just kind of get a feel for how you move objects around and how you manipulate things in this world. You're going to be spending a lot of time here. Home is always your friend. It brings you right back to where you started. And... Uh, yeah, you know what? That's probably enough for right now. And uh, you're going to watch another tutorial, another teacher made that's going to go into some details. Uh, some of those details are things you might not even use, uh, but it's always good to at least be introduced to a lot of information about a new app when you're learning how to use it. So uh, you can start this, and when you think you're done, you can uh, see your teacher to get signed off and move on to number two, where you'll begin doing some uh, videos that are instructional that will show you some very good tips. And then you'll do some interactive tutorials where if it says, uh, you know, make this thing larger, you'll actually make this thing larger. If it says duplicate this thing, you'll actually duplicate this thing. And you'll find a combination of videos and tutorials are going to give you the skills you need to actually build the projects. And you'll probably be building four or five, maybe even six projects before this module is over. All right, so they changed the Tinkercad website a little bit. It just looks different. All the stuff still works the same, but I still see the little Tinkercad logo over here on the top left. Uh, I'm going to click on log in. We're going to use personal accounts. Not, uh, I'm not going to make a, a class for every student. All right, we're just going to use personal accounts. Sign in with Google. You should already have your Gmail open over here, right? So sign in with Google. It might ask you a question or verify that that's the account you want to use. All right. And uh, no, 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 let's see. Uh, I don't think we need to create a new class or anything like that. I think that's just me being a teacher. We're going to tinker over here under tinker 3D design. Start tinkering. Okay. And again, if yours looks slightly different than this, don't freak out. Just click on buttons until you get somewhere where you see, all right, that didn't work for me. Let's check this out. Uh, click over here, 3D, new, there we go, new 3D design. I think this is what you're really looking for is this plus button with the word new on it, new 3D design, because you can do circuits or code blocks too, but we want, yes, this is what we want, and this is where all the tutorials will start, is this thing called the work plane, and uh, yeah, and there'll be a, a kind of a nonsense word up here for the title that you will change later, but this is what you're really looking for is to get here, so uh, try to follow these directions, and if you're really stuck, ask your teacher for help, but sometimes you just got to be stubborn and keep clicking on things until it does what you want it to. Uh, welcome to technology.